Hello again, everybody. Doris at DF Designs. I was watching one of my favorite artists, Mr. Thornton Jeff, yesterday, or I should say last night, doing a piece with some uh, blues. And I wanted to make one, but I wanted to make it with uh, Mardi Gras colors. So I got Just Resin Ultramarine Violet, uh, Just Resin Emerald Green. Oh, I forgot the lid wasn't on. Um, just resin bright gold, and then I'm going to use for the background. I'm going to use um, the Stone Coats um, black base tint, which I got a sneaking feeling. Yep, it's clogging the the thing. So toothpick, toothpick. There's a toothpick. I just need to poke it out. See. That's what happens because I don't use it every day. But you just pull it out. Get rid of the little dried booger. I'm going to pull out the um, what's stuck up here. And I can usually, that's all that's dry. And... Because it's it stays up there. I know I'm supposed to be turning it upside down, but I always forget. So, okay. So, oh, I'm gonna mix this up. Okay, I did want to remind everybody the that um, the contest came up for I reached 100 subscribers. So to thank you all for your support, I did promise to get a giveaway. And there's going to be a video link up in the corner. Doink, doink, doink. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get it right when my finger got up there. I can only put the link up once in the video, but I'll put it in the um, in the um, um, description. There we go. Uh, and to enter the giveaway, all you got to do is go comment below that video, like and share on social media, and subscribe if you have it. The, give, the comments are open from February 23rd, which was two days ago, till March 2nd, which I think is uh, this Saturday, okay? And then the drawing is going to take place on March 4th, and I may do a live, you know, short, do something short, but also do the drawing. And this is what, you, this is, what is up for, um, for somebody to win, okay? So, it's just my way to show my appreciation to all my subscribers. Okay, anyway, let's get down to this, okay? I got a 12-inch uh, round circle. Looks like it's got a little bit of dust on it, but yeah, I can get rid of that. I've already checked it to make sure. I've already mixed up my resin. So, I'm going to do a black base, and then I'm going to do... I'm going to drizzle some gold over it, like I saw him do. And then I'm going to do some down the middle. And then I'm going to swipe it in one direction, swipe it in the other direction. And hopefully, I can get my swiping skills up to par. I don't know yet. I have not had very good luck. But I think part of my problem has been I don't have enough base coat underneath and I don't have enough color over the top to where I can um I I, I can um get it all the way across so and I'm also gonna try to stand up to do the swiping because I got sneak because I think I'm gonna have to do it one handed okay I probably mixed up way too much resin but that's okay there is such a thing as coasters you make with your leftover resin. You never let any resin go to waste. Okay, I'm going to put that over there. Uh, first, I'm going to mix up my base black, my black base tint. Excuse me. It's from um, Stone Coat Countertops. And you don't want to put too much in. You just want to put in enough. Come on. Okay. I think I got a break. I think there might be like a little seal. 
I don't know. I hope it hasn't dried up. Oh. Uh, ah, okay. Ah, there we go. And you don't want to put too much in. You want to put in just enough to um, coat it. I know the bottle sounds like it's farting. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to mix this in and see how... Uh, it looks like it might be opaque enough. But the back of it's coated black too. Now uh, because I didn't have my stick inside the... Uh, Inside the tent, I don't have to scrape it off on the edge. And I just saw something fall in this and float down to the bottom. And I got to get it out of there. So, now I can't use that stick inside my tent. So, excuse me for a minute while I grab another tent. I kind of made these sticks myself. Probably not the uh, best idea. But they work, okay? Okay. Um, I can tell you that you can go down to the ATD's, uh, website, artistilldeath.com, and you can, um, order some sticks from them, because they, they're, they're all, they're cut straight, they're probably made of better plastic, and they're probably, um, Oh, when you put your powder in, because I forgot to put it in before the resin, um, you want to stir it in, to incorporate it slowly at first, or it's going to all blow back on you. And I happen to call that a unicorn fart, because it's a very sparkly puff of air coming out. Mm. If unicorns were real, and if unicorns could fart, that's what it would look like. It would look like that. Ah, uh, that's pretty. That's going to be going over the black. Okay. Now, this is my um, ultramarine violet by Just Resin. Um, I opened it. It's, it's not hard, but I do want to mix it up just a little bit. Now, when you stick your stick in to the, um, to the uh, tint, to um, the, the paste, to stir it up, you're going to have to scrape it on the side of the cup. Okay, that looks like enough, I think. Well, let me do one more dollop. And I'm getting purple all over the place, but that's okay. And hopefully today I remember to put a little spot of um, colored resin on there. So that way when it's sitting in the drawer, I can see... The tops of them and know which color is which. Okay, as you're mixing your 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 uh, paste into your resin, you've got quite a bit still on your stick. I always do this. I always scrape it off to get it down in there to incorporate it. That's going to be somewhat of a of a light tint, I think. Okay, and the last color, which I remembered to put the green on top is the emerald green which is really super pretty it is oh i just i love all of just resin's colors i don't know if you've noticed that by now in my videos okay there we go don't want to do it off camera i'm trying to remember where the camera is at okay that looks like enough for that so don't forget to uh, go find that video. The link's going to be below also if you didn't catch the uh, little eye card when I was pointing up at the corner. I found out yesterday that I can only put an eye card for one video. I can't do the same video twice. I can do five eye cards in the corner, but I can only do... Um, I can only do it for one video per vi per video, you know. Because I tried to do that yesterday. I tried to put two I cards. So when I, if you watched yesterday's video where I was doing the alcohol ink, 
um, it, um, it ended up, um, later on in the video, I did the doink, doink, doink up, pointing up at the corner, and there was no eye card because it wouldn't let me do it. Put it up there twice. Okay. First, I'm going to put a base coat of black. You always want to start with a base coat of something. Black, white, any color, really. Because you want, oh, excuse me. You want the resin to have something to um, slide over. Okay, I'm going to do the heat gun on low. Now, one thing you want to do is when you turn on your heat gun, you want to blow it away from the piece for about five ten seconds let all the little dust particles or like one of my other viewers called them dust boogers let them blow out okay now you're just going over and you just pop in the bubbles and you're heating it up a little bit you don't want to keep your gun in one spot for too long or you might scorch your resin okay that should be heated up and I forgot a rag uh, well, this, this one hasn't been really used, so I'll put alcohol on this. Because I'm going to smear it around with my fingers. So, I always like to have some sort of an alcohol rag. Which is just basically a cut-up t-shirt from the uh, thrift store. I buy, my thrift store, I don't know about yours, but my thrift store um, sells them um, by the bag for $3. And I got 30, 40 rags out of it. So that was a really good deal. Okay, now you want to push it up to the edge, but not over the edge. You want to get a thin layer over the um, whole thing. You don't want any dry spots in the middle. Because um, don't worry, um, it, it it's self-leveling, so it, it'll go... Well, you'll see later on it'll 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 end up going over to the um, edge, but you don't want to do that right now. I do have this board on my little self-leveling table, which I showed in uh, one of the other videos, and I put a link down there to a lady's website where she shows her husband making it. Her name is Chris C H R I S. C-R-O-S-S, -S, Cross is her last name. Okay, there we go. Okay. Get the bubbles out one more time because I can see a couple of them. Okay. Now, I'm going to do just a abstract design of little gold lines all around this. Because I'm going to put my purple and green over it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a gold line down the middle where I'm going to be putting the purple and green at. But this will like get, um, he did that with the gold yesterday with the blues. But he also did four blues. And I'm just not, I don't want to do that many colors. Okay. I'm just not that confident yet with that many colors. Okay, wow, I got a lot of gold left. I made way too much. Okay, let me wipe off my gloves before I... Even though I've got my heat switch covered, or my on-off switch covered... With a uh, with some plastic, I still try not to get too much in there. Okay, now I'm gonna. What is this? Uh, that's that's the whole back is taped, and that's what that is. Okay, now I'm just gonna get the bubbles out and heat it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna blow out the uh, the lines a little bit. Okay. Ow, shit, shit. 
shoot. I almost said the wrong word. I don't want to get censored. Um, okay, now, what I saw him do, and I hope I can do this justice the way he did it, because I absolutely loved how the swiping turned out. I'm going to put one color down, which is the green. And I'm just going to do a path right across. Well, I didn't exactly get it like he did, but... Okay, now I'm just going to heat it up just a little bit. And then heat up the resin around it, too, because I'm going to be swiping over that. Okay, now comes the swiping. And I wanted to do it where I have full control of it, so I want to hold hold both sides. Sorry, I'm blocking the camera. So now, you want to get the edge of it touching. You don't want to dig into the resin. Then you very slowly want to pull your color. Probably should have put a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to do this one this way. And hopefully I can do a better job. We will find out in a minute. Well, no. To me, that doesn't look like what he did last night. Okay. So, let's do a line of purple. And now I'm going to put just a little bit more on there than I did with the other one. See, the purple is a little transparent. Okay, I'm going to heat it up a little bit. Try not to block the camera, but... Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to take this line this way, or this half of the line this way. I am, uh, I dripped across it too. Okay, now. Sorry if I'm not talking. I am trying to concentrate on my swiping. Okay. I want to do a double line of purple and green now and put a little bit of gold on top of it and try swiping that. Okay, and then a little bit of gold with it. Hopefully the gold doesn't take over. Okay, now heat it up. I can see right there I dribbled. My swipey paper dribbled, but hey. I'm not exactly that great at this, okay. Let me, I'm going to try doing this end and see if it works a little bit better, okay. You want to get, I don't know if you can see that, you want to get the, the edge of the paper on top of the resin. Oh, that, that turned out a little bit better, but now I've lost my, my greens and my purple. Hmm. Okay, I see one thing wrong. Uh, where are my... Well, there's my big tweezers. I see one... I see something that looks like a little resin booger that came out of the cup, probably. 
I try to reuse my cups and I do try to clean them out really good. Pop that bubble. Okay, I want to put a little bit more purple because it doesn't look like I got enough purple. And I know you guys are probably telling me, stop, 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 but... Okay, heat it up a couple seconds just to warm it up or warm up the resin around it. Come on. That gun is not easy for me to turn off one-handed. Okay. Let me try doing it one-handed. See, I didn't get all the purple. Yeah, I know. I got a lot of resin down on the table. Okay, so. Uh, well, I definitely don't need to add any more gold to it. I do want to try one thing. I am going to put I am going to put a little tiny some little tiny purple lines right here and I'm going to blow it out now and see how it does if I get any cells I doubt it I really doubt it so this is almost over, so I'm going to t remind you to look in the description if you didn't see the little i-card earlier about the link for the video that you need to go comment on for the giveaway. And that's, uh, you can comment up between now and um, March 2nd. And on March 4th, I'm going to do a drawing, and it's to give away that painting right there, which I don't want to touch with my resin fingers. So, I'm getting some cell action right there. I got too much gold. That was my fault. I can see that I need it over the side right there just a little bit. I got like a little bit of a dry edge right there. But I don't want to change the design too much. Anyway, well, I'm going to call this one done except for going around and picking out the, the dust. Because I know I probably got dust in it anyway. And... I'm going to remind you one more time, there's a drawing, and that's to get that painting over there. I don't, now you can't, well, I'm not ch tilting my camera, because I got resin hands. Um, I'm scared even just touching the button on it. And I'm going to try one more thing. I want to get some cells. Well, that's it. Okay, that's it. I can't think of anything else I should do to it. I really don't see that much dust in it. I do want to go a little bit over this because it looks like it's just a little bit dry right there. And I got to go around and clean off the drips. Because I don't want to have the drips. Even though I got tape on the back, I don't want the, the drips to, um, to um, stay there. So anyway, um, I want to thank you all for watching. 
If you haven't subscribed already, please do. It's not a requirement for the contest. Um, don't forget to hit the little notifications bell so you'll be notified of any of my upcoming videos. If you have any questions about what I did right here, leave them in the comments. And don't forget to go leave a comment below the contest video so you can try to win that painting. And I hope to see you all in the next video, okay? Bye for now.